हर बोल नमस्ते नमो सीध स्वरूप नंद परम हम सनामिने गुरु करुण स्वरूप आय राज कृष्ण प्रसाद भज श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नीचनांद श्रेद्वेता गरधा श्री बसदि गौर भक्त वृंदम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम नम राम हरे हरे सो द स्टेट ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस वी हैव नाउ प्रायर टू कमिंग इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद दिस साइंस इट्स अबाउट द कंडीशनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड इबी सभी नॉन कोने इन कॉन्शियसनेस नो अने यो आउटलुक नो सब बुहाई अने इन गोल्स नो अने यो अकाला नो मग बीबी कैसे नो कलिगया हान शेल्टर सिक्योरिटी इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ योर कंडीशनिंग कोने एक्सपोज़र नो इबी सभी नॉन को अने यो नकीता नो सब सेंसेस नो अने यो एक्सपीरियंस नो एंड � because of the influence of the three modes of material nature goodness passion and ignorance so ngayon out of great fortune you come in contact with a science that will directly address yung what we are searching what we are longing for ko ano yung hinahanap talaga natin and the science is about having clarity clarity claro sa atin yung wisdom it comes with the wisdom kaya yung spiritual understanding comes with wisdom and wisdom comes from spiritual authorities krishna and the spiritual master the saintly person so we are secured and guided by someone who is an authority who is a representative of god and that wisdom is substantiated with the words the intent the pleasure god's what the supreme person wants us to achieve okay it is about our true transcendental nature so i'll read here the instruction of our spiritual master instructing spiritual master and then i'll try i'll be giving to you yung how we can understand it through having someone who is, will guide us and yun yung bona fide spiritual master who is present now in this planet okay the teachings of parampara the instructing spiritual master written written and put into writing is best understood with clarity if we have someone who is coming in that line of spiritual master and authority okay the associates of lord chaitanya so i'll read here so we can see if we're making progress towards a direction that will give us freedom will free us from this drowning ocean i'll discuss it after reading this teachings of our instructing spiritual master the spiritual master of shila prabhupada jagat guru and i'll translate it in to tagalog para maintindihan niyo and all of you here the krishna consciousness movement or the movement of lord chaitanya is conducted under the supervision of shila rupa goswami the gudiya vaishnavas or bengali vaishnavas are mostly followers of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu of whom the six goswamis of Vrindavan are direct disciples. Therefore, Srila Narottama Das Thakur had sung. So, Rupa, the six goswamis, Go, Swami, Go means master of the senses. The spiritual master is master of his senses. Yun ang goswami. Okay? When I'm eager to understand the literature given by the goswamis, then I shall be able to understand the transcendental loving affairs of Radha and Krishna. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in order to bestow upon human society the benediction of the science of Krishna. The most exalted of all activities of Lord Krishna are his pastimes of conjugal love with the gopis. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in the mood of Srimati Radharani, the best of the gopis. Therefore, to understand the mission of Lord Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and follow in his footsteps, 
one must very seriously follow the footsteps of the six Goswamis. Yun yung following the footsteps of the saintly person who are close associate of Lord Krishna. And in this case, the six Goswamis are close associates of Lord Chaitanya, direct disciples of Lord Chaitanya. Is it clear? Okay. Shila Rupa Goswami, Bata Rata Goswami, Shila Jiba, Gopala, Bata, and Dasa Raghunath. Shila Rupa Goswami was the leader of all the Goswamis. And to guide our activities, he gave us this Upadasamrita, the nectar of instruction. Ibig sabihin, may instruction, may nectar, may result. Pag ginapinalo mo, you'll experience yung nectar. Ano yung nectar? Yung sweetness, okay? Kasi nangyari, through our conditioning in this world, we're longing for nectar, sweetness. But we must question ourselves, are we really experiencing the nectar that will give fulfillment to our heart? Or it's just flickering enjoyment that just passes by? So, you check nyo ba? So, when you are with wisdom and you're guided by someone who is tasting the nectar of devotion, then we will succeed because he can impart to us how we can taste that nectar. Okay? In all spiritual affairs, one must first, one first duty is to control his mind and senses. Unless one controls his mind and senses, one cannot make any advancement in spiritual life. So, Goswami means master of his senses, master of his mind. He can control the urge of the mind. So, if you cannot control the urge of the mind and you identify yourself as this body, you identify with the mind, then you'll be lost into oblivion. Ano ibig sabihin ng oblivion? Walang hanggan, nakadiliman. You'll be lost. Just like everybody in this material world, one pointedly goes dive to this ocean of misery, material life. The living entity, you, all of us, life, a different energy from matter, from matter, we are drowning in this ocean because of our conditioning and activities previously and the conditioning that we have seen and now we are pursuing that goal. And what is that goal all about? It is about your will, to do your own will, to be happy by your own endeavor. But the problem is, your true, our true transcendental position is that we are not all powerful. We are not self-sufficient. So no matter how hard you try to find fulfillment, to find security, but because our nature is we're eternally dominated, loving servant of the Supreme Person, and if we are not in harmony, guided by Rupa Goswami and the Six Goswami, this process of wisdom, mangyayari sa atin, we will be loss. We will not succeed because we'll be looking in the wrong direction. And that you can check in yourselves. Have you ever come to the point of satiation? Alin satiation? There's nothing more to be gained except doing the will of God. It's a tall order and, and down, it's a daunting task. Talagang heavy kasi we've been conditioning, conditioned for so long thinking, I am the center of the universe. I will do what I want. I will enjoy. So we have become little Hiranyakashipu. Sino si Hiranyakashipu? Okay? What is a demon? A demon is someone who envies God, who wants to be God. You may have be having this decent clothes, but if our consciousness is contaminated with this false ego to dominate material nature, to play God, imitate God, then we are contaminated with the disease of materialism. And that must be cut to the root with wisdom. Now, no matter how you struggle, you kick, you deny, you run away, never, never you'll succeed. And when you do that, then you have no shelter. Because you will not be under the guidance of the resident of Brindavan, the six Goswamis. You will be trampled and enslaved by sino? 
Maya, okay? You become enslaved. Maging alipin ka. Pero thinking, you're the master. And you suffer. The result of your activities, either good or bad, and definitely more on sinful activities. And what is sinful activity? What are sinful activities? Huh? Stealing God's property. Using this material energy that does not belong to us and try to dominate it. Then there's reaction. There's karma. So, it's very hard to succeed, to be directed one-pointedly if we don't have this wisdom guided by someone who is the representative of God. Is it clear sa inyo? Say siya. Is it clear sa inyo? Sa inyo? It's clear to all of you? So no matter how much, you may be very arrogant, you know, showing, you may be sitting down here, you know, just listening. It's another, it's another teaching. It's another uh, process, you know. I'll just do carry on. Then you don't know you're already servant of your mind because the mind is very strong. So the reason I'm reading this to give us the foundation of wisdom and the importance of the teachings of our spiritual master to give clarity how we can succeed. Now, if you don't take it because of the influence of Maya, because we have become Godasa. Ano yung Godasa? Servant of the senses. Why are we servant of the senses? Because we identify with the body. And definitely, automatic, our, our goal in life is sensual enjoyment, fulfillment of the senses, which is not really achievable on the long run because it's just flickering enjoyment and a different energy from us. Okay. So in spiritual life, there must be purification and that purification is given to us. The holy names, the supreme purifier. And when we become purified, we will be able to see our, what's, wha, our state, yung consciousness natin, but then it's a suffer. And we begin to see, oh, I'm so arrogant. I'm just doing my will, thinking I'll gonna, I'll be going, I'll be succeeding. And who's guiding you? The mind. And who, who directs the mind? Okay? Kaya ang process natin is to have control over the mind. Okay? Kagaya kahapon, you were there, all of you, di ba? Even now, you're here and you don't know what's happening na ano ba talaga mangyayari dito sa mundo? Yung COVID na to, ano ba talaga to? Di ba? You're thinking. And then, you listen to the radio, you listen to so many people, different opinions. But if you, all of us here, will be guided by the associates of Lord Chaitanya, the saintly person, by God, in harmony with our true transcendental position, and we engage in our natural function, which is to do the will of God in harmony, wherein our heart is connected with Krishna's will, then you're not touched by this word. Everything will crumble because you're living a life of doing the will of God in harmony with his close associates, the devotees of God, the spiritual master. Everything will crumble, meaning will break down, either with COVID whatsoever, third world war, no, you don't know what will happen, okay? But you're not touched because you're living the life that is protected by the divine energy of God. God's will. And how does it, how can you achieve it? Humbleness. Why are we, why, why are we so hard-hearted? Because we are all arrogant. We try to imitate God. Seemingly from from the outside, the onset, you'll just hear. You may wonder, how come people are not making progress towards that goal? Okay? How come? Okay. How come there's no enthusiasm to do the will of God? To be in harmony with God. How come they are enthusiastic? Because of contamination. And to be able to achieve that, that harmony, one must become a Goswami. Go means... Senses. Swami means master of the senses. Okay? So dito natin makikita. Through our conditioning before, we have become servant of the senses. 
Kasi the goal is happiness, success, labels, you know, doctor, general, whatsoever, policeman, bumbero, barangay tanon, okay? All about the labels of this body. And you're not the label. Hindi ka yung tatak. Okay? Nakita niyo yung mga nagpapatato, di ba? Daming tato. Dagang kay patik. Parang label ba? Okay? May heart pa rito, pero broken heart. Nakakita kayo ka na? May pana. Tinusok ni Peter. At umalis si Peter. Di ba? Kaya nagdudugo. Okay? Every time makita niya, broken heart. Okay? Okay? May iba, naglalagay pa ng... Kasi nakikita nila, uy, lahat nagpapatato. Nagpapatato. Ano yung tato? Dati pag may patik ka, kuyaw, hindi ka na sa presuhan. Pero karon dili na. Pero nasa preso ka pa rin kasi you identify with the label. Dati, nakakulong yung mga gumawa ng kasalanan ng rape, pumatay, nakakulong, gipatikan, nakalabas kasi nagbayad na ng... Kagaya ni Bad Boy, di ba? Binayaran niya na nakukulong siya ng ilang taon, anim na taon. Di ba? Binayaran niya na yung sala niya. Okay? May tatak siya, Bad Boy. Okay? Di ba? Okay, label na Bad Boy. Okay? Pero yung mga tao ngayon, because they look outside externally, nakita nila, uy, guwapo kayo na patik niyo. Kada kita na ako kay Brad Pitt. Si Brad Pitt, ha? hindi si Brad Pitt. Kailan niyo si Brad Pitt? Okay? Asawa ni Angelina Jolie. Di ba? May patik siya. Okay? Brad Pitt. Hindi si Brad Pitt na Pinoy. May Brad Pitt na Pinoy din eh. Hindi ba? Mga anak. May patik din. Pero ngayon, may label na. Okay? Kasi may tato siya rito, si Brad Pitt. Nisip mo, may tato ka rin. Okay? Imbis ilagay mo yung mukha ni Angelina Jolie, mukha ni Petra. Na? Pag, okay? Pag tanggal mo ng damit mo, pakita mo talaga may agila. Kaya makita nyo, di ba napapansin nyo, lahat na nagpapatato, backless. Para makita yung tato. Kasi kung hindi makita, totoo anong value? Di ba, nagpatato ka. Nakatago, nakajacket ka, nakahood ka, kagaya nyo. Inisip nyo si, tina, ay, ayawang ko, anong tinatago nyo ha? Anong kinakatakutan nyo? Pero karamihan nagpapatato, lalo na yung mga nasa katawang babae, nakabockless para makita yung tato. Kasi kung hindi makikita yung tato, anong value? Di ba? Nagpatato ka rito. Alam naman, nakasaya ka. So magmi-midrip ka para pag gano'n mo, makita yung tato mo rito. May may tato. Di ba? Sikat. Di ba? Choy-choy. Chay-chay. Okay? So yun yung condition natin sa mundo na to. So anong value na magpatato? Sakit ba yan? Pag ana na, tuslukon. Dati, lisod. Pagpatato, kasi tusok-tusokin, dudugo, sakit kayo. Tapos wala pang color yung tato dati. Kaya pag nagpatato sila ng sigi-sigi okso. O kaya sigi-sigi. Ano yung sigi-sigi? O kaya okso? Yun yung mga grupo sa presuhan. Kaya pag nagpatato sila sa dulo ng, alimba, lion, yung buhok ng lion, nakalagay doon sigi-sigi sputnik. Hindi mo mapansin pero may SSSP. Okay? Yung kaya okso. Diba? Yeah. Pero ngayon, na-highlight na yun. Sikat na pag na-tato. Okay? Na-apatik. Parang yung kaibigan natin dito, yung electrician. Dagaman siya, patik kita mo. Ak akala ko yung patik niya ano lang. Di ba may patik na baligya lang? O kaya may, may mayroong patik na ano yun? Tawag doon? Pag dilagay nyo, parang may patik. Ah, sikat kaya siya. Ah, napaya siya ba? Pag abot na ako, palit may taho dito. Naaw man dito ka tong gikan sa Japan. Babae, mas dagang patato sa iya. Nakabakles. May tato pa rito. Okay? No, no. May sa kleb. May, dito yung kleb. Yung gano. Alam yung kleb? Alam yung kleb? Di ba? May tato pa rito ba? Kula nala ilabas yung susu para may tato din sa dulo. At may ring din. Di ba? Okay? Bakit yung hikaw kailan ilabas nyo? Diba, bakit yung iba naglalagay ng hikaw dito talaga? Iba sa dila, pag nagsalita, nakalabas yung... Yeah. Kasi, kung wala nang haala, useless, di ba? Para pag naglalaro kayo, di ba? Tago ka, hindi ka nakikita. Walang thrill, di ba? 
Sigaw ka, nandito ako, hanapin mo ako. Ha? Anyway, binibiro ko lang ay para magising kayo. <laughs> In all spiritual affairs, one person's duty is to control his mind and senses. Unless one controls his mind and senses, one cannot make any advancement in spiritual life. Everyone within the, this material world is engrossed in the modes of passion and ignorance. One must promote himself to the platform of goodness, Sadbaguna, by following the instruction of Srila Rupa Goswami. Then everything concerning how to make further progress will be revealed. Advancement in Krishna consciousness depends on the attitude of the follower. Ela time may attitude problem. Lahat kayo rito eh. May attitude problem kayo. Una, ano attitude problem nyo talaga? Tamad. Di ba? Badlungon. Di ba? Gahay ang ulo. Di ba? Walang pakialam. Di ba? Attitude problem yun. Di ba? <laughs> so, paano ka makakaroon ng enthusiasm? Ano enthusiasm? Gusto ba? Kung kadasultihan ka na dong maglimpyo diha dong kay mukha o nata. Ganon-ganon kayo. Parang si Sine. Kayo, hindi ba ganun kayo murag nakadungong pero bungol-bungol lang, di ba? Amang attitude ba, okay? <laughs> Adv- <laughs> One who wants to become a perfect devotee of Krishna must become a Goswami. Go means the senses and Swami means the ma- master. Unless one controls his senses and mind, one cannot become a Goswami. To achieve the highest success in life by becoming a Goswami and then a pure devotee of the Lord, one must follow the instruction of Upad- Upadesamrita, which g- have g- been given by Srila Rupa Goswami and many other books at Bhakti Rasamrita Sin. One should follow this instruction very strictly, then it will be easier to make one's life successful. Hare Krishna. So, our instructing spiritual master is Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami. Yung sinabi niya na to is, is explained clearly by our in spiritual master, Jagad Guru Siddha Swarup. Tinurun muna niya sa atin yung basic. Yung akala natin na you're not the body, you're not the body. Yung science na difference between matter and life. So, nalagay tayo sa position ngayon na, oh, hindi nga pala ako ang katawan. Okay? You don't say, me and Sinasabi ba niyo, mihen? What do you what do you say sa English dito? Tinuro mo kayo. Anong sinasabi niyo? My hand, di ba? My, my. Pag sinabi mo my, ano ibig sabihin nun? Possession. My hand, okay? My hand. You don't say me hand. Okay, me body. Okay? Even sa literary ano, mali na yung false body identification. Okay? So, pag naintindihan nyo clearly sa turo ng science na to, and not only that, mayroon supplement na para mas madali natin maintindihan. So, when you chant the holy names in meditation, yung holy names will be purifying your mind. Kasi a certain activity leads to a certain consciousness. A certain consciousness leads to a certain activity. Parang dati, na-program kayo ito. Di ba? Na-program. Kagaya yun. Na-program kayo. Ano yung program na program kayo lahat? Paano ngayon ang program? Kasi you're looking for happiness. Eh may cellphone. Di ba? Sa cellphone, makaka-communicate ka. Di ba? Makaka-text ka. Lahat. You've been programmed na, uy, pwede palang gamitin yung senses ko para maghanap ako ng kaibigan, kaligayahan, kapunuan ng puso ko. Kaya lahat naglalakad, naka-cellphone. Hindi ba yung napapansin yun? Yung medium nila yung cellphone. Ang question, yung ginagawa nila, is it authorized? It's it, the medium, the process that will connect you with your true transcendental nature to become a Goswami. Hindi, di ba? Ilang tao nakaupo lahat dun. Kaya nga sa kainan, lahat naka-cellphone, kumakain. Okay. Ano nangyari? Yung mind mo, hinuli na ni Maya. Hinuli na ni Maya. Kasi yung kapunuan na gusto mo sa puso mo, nakadirekta dun. Kasi you're looking for something eh. Ano yung something na hinahanap nyo? Na? Gusto nyo maging kalma, di ba? Pero the more nagtitext ka, the more sinasagot ka, nagiging kalmado ka ba? Hindi, di ba? Experience nyo. Swerte kayo, dahil wala kayong cellphone. Nakatago lahat. Okay? 
Pwede lang kayo tumawag sa nanay nyo. So pag agitated yung mind nyo, hindi nyo kailangan ko cellphone. Kailangan ko, kailangan ko katihin. You know, tawagan ko si, no? Nagpapasok sa mind nyo na, dako na ba tong ako mga tanong dito? Mabaligya na ba to? Dako na ba tong mga baktin dito na mabaligya para na ako kwarta, makapalit ko bago cellphone, makauli na ako pagkahumani, ano? So, ma-agitate ka, di ba? So, pwede kang tumawag sa cellphone ni Makling. Ba? Sandali lang. Okay? Pero kung hawak mo yung cellphone parate, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. Alam niya? Pag idle kayo, anong pumapasok sa isipan nyo? Di ba? Dahil sa condition ng natin, under the three modes of material nature, ano yung, pa- yung conditioning ng passion? Enjoyment. Pag nag-enjoy ka, pag frustrated ka, anong gusto mo naman? Makalimot? Ignorance naman. Kaya importante to be guided to be to come to the point of goodness kasi pag goodness you experience calmness goodness and when you become close to the you follow the process you become purified kaya yung goodness kalmado ka hindi ka nangangate hindi ka rin nang kumakate di ba is it clear is it clear sa inyo claro sa so ngayon yung process na to kayo dapat mag-check sa sarili niyo kung nagme-make kayong progress kasi nobody will walk for you. Walang maglalakad para sa inyo. Kung yung attitude natin, ah, unya na lang na. Hindi naman kailangan na. Okay? But, there will be a test. Yung final test. When you leave this body, are you prepared? Okay? Buti pa, exempted ka na bago dumating yung test. Paano ka ma-exempt? You become a Goswami. You are master of your senses, master of your mind, you direct it, and your focus is about the eternal relationship with the Supreme Person. And that is achieved by following yung instruction ng kaibigan ni Lord Krishna. Yung Goswami, six Goswami are associates of Lord Chaitanya. And our spiritual master are, is a servant of Radha and Krishna. So to, to enter that world of devotion, si Krishna, hindi siya nag enjoy sa material world. Krishna is the supreme enjoyer who gives him pleasure. Rama, Radharani, and it's about pure love, unconditional love, unalloyed devotional service. And it is inherent in all of you here that you are eternally the loving servant of God. So the question now is, are you servant of God or are you servant of the senses? Are you guided by the three modes of material nature and you are now subjugated? Alam niyo subjugated? Nakakulong, nakashakel, hindi makagalaw. Okay, I'll tell you this. Ano. To be in harmony. To be in harmony with God. Alam niyo yung metamorphosis? Alam niyo yung metamorphosis? Hindi kang tinturan sa science ba? Nakakita na kayo ng ano? Na um, caterpillar. Di ba? Di ba yung caterpillar? May caterpillar, makita niyo. Daku na green, di ba? Huwag na yung ulod na gamay. Caterpillar na lang, okay? May mga dahon, di ba? Kumakain, kumakain, kumakain. After a while, nakakain na siya marami. Anong gagawin ng caterpillar? He'll spin, ha? He go inside a cocoon. Anong cocoon? Parang bahay ba? Di ba? Tapos nakasabit na gano'n. Okay? Then after a while, when is transformed into what? Butterfly. At yung kukun dahan-dahan paglabas, butterfly na lumilipad at nakikita nyong pumunta sa mga bulaklak. Di ba? Napakaganda. Okay? Yun ang harmony. Okay? Pero kung yung consciousness natin contaminated, saan, na, saan yung langaw? Ha? Nakakita na kayo ng mga dyan o, maraming mga daga dito kung minsan namamatay. Di ba? Pag namatay yung daga, syempre umalis na yung spirit soul sa katawan ng daga. So mag uh, ano yun, magkakaroon ng gas, lahat ng bakteriya biglang may malalabas, maraming maraming uud. Dagang kayo halos puno, di ba? Kinsa mo duol? Langaw, okay? Bakit attracted yung langaw? Ikaw, siguro kung langaw ang consciousness mo, attracted ka rin. <laughs> ano ganun mo, di ba? Pero hindi ka attracted, di ba? Kasi by nature, yung living entity tayo, we're joyful by nature. We're not of this world. 
We are not the body. Kaya in-emphasize maigi sa atin with wisdom. Not believe. Belief. Alam yung belief? Magtuo ka. You're not the body. Magtuo ka. Di, di ganun. It is given to us in clarity, scientifically, practically, based upon religion, based upon science, and based upon personal experience. O ganito na lang, para mas madaling personal experience sa inyo. Halimbawa, nandito kayo ngayon. Pag alis nyo, galing kayo tampilisan, okay? Nandito kayo. Kausap mo yung mama mo. Okay, ma! Uli na ko. Okay? Pag uli mo, pagdating, nakita mo nandun yung Saint Peter. Okay? Naman din ang Saint Peter, puti kayo ang ano nila ba? Starex na puti, brand new good. May mga tao doon na parang mga security. Security ng patay, okay? Pagkita, nandun nakatayo. Nakita mo maraming ilaw, okay? Sa dami ng ilaw, kita mo yung katawan ng mama mo nakahaya. Nasa nanay mo? Ha? Malis na, di ba? Sino malis? O, yung person, okay? Hindi ka pupunta doon na, ma! Gakuso niyo mo ba? Ba't ka iyak? Ba't ka malungkot? Ha? Wala na mo hatag sa iyo kwarta pampalit sa? <laughs> yung insecurity mo mo, wow, kinsa'y mo tabang sa ako, kinsa'y mo buhi sa ako. Katapulan na ako. Yeah. Gusto lang na ako, yeah, I feel me. Matag niya, atag niya, atag niya. But, this world is a world of struggle. You will be struggling here very hard. And you will be subjugated by the laws of karma, the three modes of material nature. So you're living entity until and unless you're master of your senses. You'll not graduate here. You'll be suffering. You'll be scratching and scratching. Okay? After understanding and listening from the truth, the wisdom, then it's up to you to make a decision. And then you see what deters me. Ano yung deter? What separates me? What stops me? From doing the will of God. Okay? Makikita nyo ba? So, what will you do? So, instructions sa atin, follow the footsteps of the saintly person. Okay? So, sinong susundin mo? Then, you will be protected because the mind now, who's be, the mind is very strong. Nandun lahat yung desire. Eh. Lahat ng gusto mong kaligayahan, nandun. Nakaprogram ka eh. Ano yung computer? Okay? Yung database, nandun lahat yung program. Lahat ng apps nandun to enjoy. It's a maze ba? Hindi mo alam. At kung hindi mo alam kung sino ka, then wala kang patutunguhan. Paikot-ikot ka, paikot-ikot-ikot ikot hanggang himatayin ka na lang. Pagdating ng panahon, time to go. Hilo ka pa ba? Di, nga naman, kung sama na, asa ko paingon. Okay? I'll tell you one story. Ah. Ito, true to life story to ng, ng, ng God brother ko. God brother ko, is Japadas. Papa niya, ambassador ng Panama. Alam niyo, ambassador? Uh, he rides with all these diplomats. Bata pa siya, kasama na yung papa niya. Okay? Yung ambassador ng Panama, yung lugar sa South America. Okay? Lumaki siya na, chachan siya. Kasama ko siya previously, hanggang we were together. Then one time, yung papa niya, papa niya, He's a very powerful man, although very simple, because of his friends. Okay? Kasama niya lahat. So, during that time, naririnig na si Japadas, si Joey, malit na bata. Okay? Naririnig niya, 8 years old lang yung siya, dati. Naririnig niya na, nagchachan parate, nag-o-offer, lagi nagchachan. Hindi nga pinapakialaman si Japadas, kasi, uh, second to the ano siya, uh, may youngest pa, pero siya yung second. Okay. Nung time na biglang, mga years back, mga 10-15 years ago, biglang, nagkaroon siya ng appendectomy. Alam yung appendectomy? He, appendicitis ba? Na, na, mabuto ba? Parang kayo dyan, di ba? Meron kayong appendix. Pag yung appendix nyo na inflame na, may mga hugaw, may inflame yun eh. Kailangan putulin. Ganun lamang kahaba yun. Eh. Dito. Okay. So pag opera sa kanya, yung pala meron siyang cancer of the colon. 
eh magkadugtong yun, okay? Natandog. So yung cancer of the colon, sa una, uh, tawag nila doon, uh, mm, nag-metastasize. Ibig sabihin nun, naging kumalat yung virus. Okay? Kumalat yung virus. Okay? So ngayon, nabigla sila kasi nung kumalat yung virus, kumalat na sa system niya. Eh, ngayon, hindi ko, dahil wala naman akong cancer na ganong experience, pero sa experience, nakikita nyo sa mga evidences na yung cancer, it will destroy your body. So, naka-experience siya ng yung intestines niya lahat. Contaminated, inflamed, so he's in pain. So, dinala siya sa hospital and then binigyan siya ng taning ng doktor. Okay, your father, I think, he has a certain amount lang ng panahon sa katawan niya. Mga three weeks. Okay? Three weeks. Then, my friend Joey, umuwi. Okay? Nandun yung papa niya. Alam mo, tanong ng papa niya, Joey, can you please teach me what I'm hearing from you for so long? The chanting of the holy names. Okay? Tinanong siya naman. Tinuruan niya yung papa niya. Okay? Nag-chant. Not only that, Pag yung papa niya in pain, yung papa niya in pain ba? Kasi kailangan mo na ano eh, parang morphine para hindi masakit ba? Tapos pag yung napapanood ni ni Japadas, ni Joey, ano, pag yung nurse, maganda-maganda, pagpapasok, talagang sakit, sakit, di ba? Sakit, 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 okay? Pero pag hindi maganda, away, sakit. <laughs> Sa, hindi ba nakita niyo yung story natin? Sabi ng spiritual master, bring your beaut your young sister will visit a dying man. When we enter that room, look at his eyes. Kung gaano kalikot yung mata, okay? Tignan mo. Pagpasok pa lang niya kasama ng spiritual master niya, kasama niya yung sister niya. Young sister. Immediately yung dying man Yung mata, parang terminator. Okay? Alam mo? You get stuck. Okay? Yung focus niya. Okay? Ibig sabihin, previously, yung meditation na for beauty is about this world. Okay? Eh kung may wisdom ka kung ano yung beauty. Because definitely, all of you here, you're looking for beauty. And the most beautiful person is Krishna. Life, you, you're all beautiful because you're eternally the loving child of Krishna. Kaya lang, kung ang focus mo, conditioning mo, the three modes of material nature, yung passion, iba yung nakikita mo kung ano yung beauty. Para yung langaw ba? Yung butterfly pupunta sa bulaklak. Singhuto niya yung kabanguhan ng bulaklak. Pero yung langaw pupunta sa... Okay. So, dito mo makita yung ano ba, negative, positive. Okay? So, ang point ko, yung person na si Japadas, disciple siya ni Sheila Prabhupada. So, at the time na yung papa niya paalis, Sheila Prabhupada is there. Krishna is there because Japadas is there. Representing Sheila Prabhupada. So, sometimes yung mga parents, like, may mga parents kasi na when they child, oh, even here in Madana, okay? Uh, Nga no pa eskwela ni mo ang bata diha. Mahimo na pareho sa ila. Ma member na na diha. Di ba? They feel threatened. Okay? As if kuhaon ilang bata. Di ba? Kuhaon mawa akong control, okay? But they don't know that the child who comes in contact with this process of Lord Chaitanya of Krishna can be their savior at the time they're leaving the body. Okay. Sometimes, even in my case, Papa ko, he wanted me to become a pilot, you know, my brother to become a pilot, to be able to whatsoever gusto niya sa buhay. I said, no. <laughs> Frustrated siya. <laughs> okay? Then, Ang point ko rito, si Japadas, who 
listen who who's a child ah taken care by Shila Prabhupad bata bata pa siya noon eh ngayon kasi age uh, 52 na dati 8 years old lang siya okay imagine mo 8 years old kasi edad ni Chaitanya Das di ba okay kay tad nito Jamuna Das pero hindi isi bata bata yung katawan pero mature yung pag-iisip ba kasi ang narinig niya association niya is Shila Prabhupada the associates of Krishna the associate ni Krishna the spiritual master kay with wisdom siya so the time yung tatay niya alis alam niyo yung experience niya sa sa, sa is one day yung papa niya panic panic yung hospital yung room kasi yung papa niya nakakakita ng kung ano-ano Kasi at the time na alis kay sa mundo na to, huwag nyo isipin na St. Peter ang tatagbo sa inyo. Yung katawan nyo. Pero yung ginawa nyo, ang tagbo sa inyo, mga Yamaduts, agent of death. Kanang Yamaduts? Yama. Yamaloka means the planet of death. Nagwat na ang presuhan dito kung ano activities nyo. Okay? A certain activity leads to a certain consciousness. A certain reaction. So, if you're a devotee of Krishna, Krishna will send his representative to pet you. Just like now, since we are all children of Krishna, he loves us, he sends his representative to pet us, to give us his wisdom, so we can make a choice. Now, I want to go back to Krishna. Kapoy na diri. Hadlok diri. Pero di ka mo mahadlok. Okay? Pero sa mind mo, pirmi ka managang. Kuya o diha, kuya o diha. Because of your consciousness. Because you're not in control of your mind. Okay? So, ang nangyari, yung papa niya, tinuruan niya mag-chant. Yung papa niya na panik kasi nakikita niya may tumitingin sa kanya parate. Kana muhawa ka na ba? Mad, gabing madilim. Sa room ka lang. Hindi pa, na, hindi pa kayo naka-experience sa hospital ng doon kayo ng mga isang linggo. Okay? Morbid. Alam niyo yung morbid? Para kayo nasa loob ng puneraria. Morbid yung scene. Kasi amoy dugo. Amoy... Mga ano, gamot na steril. Lahi, mandiri o. Murag. Huh? Kasi nandito kayo eh. You're driven by your mind. Driven by passion. Hindi nyo nakikita. So, nangyari, he chanted the holy name. He sang the holy name. And then, ginawa ni Japadas, he put the picture of Krishna. Gubinda. And then, wala yung nakikita niya. My friend ako, dati sa India, when he got so sick, kasi sa India, Hindi yung akala nyo kasi na konsepto natin ng Oh, India, ang ganda ka ng dusik. No. India now is so contaminated yung place because of materialism and population, overpopulation. Kaya nangyari sa India, yung tubig madumi, madumi na. Imagine mo, halos mag 1 billion na yun sila. Imagine mo, 1 billion na tao magpupo ka da adlaw. Di ba? Sa field. Okay? Hugaw ka iba. Daming squatter, ganun. Kaya isip nila, Nga numutuo ko na, hugaw kayo ng lugar, gubot man diri. Why? Because ang nakita lang nila is through their senses. Eh, Maya is very strong. Akala nyo, kaya nyo si Maya? Mundo ba ito ni Maya? You try to play Lord? Ah, sige, good. Gapusong ka niya ba? Akala mo, Lord ka ba? Then you experience the pain. Because Maya or illusion is a very mean master. Wala siya kaluluy on sa inyo. He's there. Yun ang role niya. Ang role ni Maya, mag-antus mo sa pahirap. Pero inisip niyo, Lord man kayo, try to control. Hindi man kayo controller. Kaya walang gusto makinig ng science na to. Kasi everybody wants to play Lord to be the king of nothing. Okay? So yun yung point ko. Ang point ko, Japadas, because of his contact with the parampara, the, the Chaitanya mission of, because of Srila Prabhupada, he's able to assist his father to leave this world. How to leave this world? To be under the guidance of devotional service. To be humbly taking shelter of God. And how do you take shelter of God? By chanting the holy names. Krishna, wala na yun. Mas yung sao na ako. Okay? Hindi ba nyo nababansin? Yung pinakamayaman sa Pilipinas. Mr. Villar. Nakikita pa ba niyo si Mr. Villar ngayon? Nakikita niyo siya? Ha? Nakita niyo si Lucio? Lucio, parang malapit sa Lucifer ba? 
Na, si Lucio, nakikita niyo? Nasaan sila? Nasa ospital. Si Erap, para sa mahirap, nasaan? Di ba? Nasa ospital. So, ibig sabihin, yung mga tao who are in control, who are, we think na, oh, mga sikat, wala na. Yung, ba, yung paa nila, kasabihan sa Tagalog, malapit na magpantay yung paa. Ibig sabihin nun, malapit na sila, mag yung katawan nila, mag-amoy lupa. Tindihan mo? Yung paa nila nasa okay. <laughs> so, nandun sila anytime. Pero, isipin mo ha, pinakamaraming pera, pinakamapowerful, ang assessment nga sa person na to, ang pera niya is, meron lang naman siyang 600 million dollars. Okay? Sa Fortune Magazine, isa siya sa top 1,000 rich individual in this planet. Okay? Magsisimula siguro yung kay, sino pinakamayaman? Yung nasa India, yung pinakamayaman. Okay? Yung nasa, yung may-ari ng Red Bull. Okay? Yung pera nila, billions and billions. Pero, yung pera, nakatulong ba sa kanya? Nakahiga ka ron? Anong tumutulong sa'yo? Bumubuhay sa katawan mo. Yung oxygen, you know, yung gamot. Paalis ka na eh. Hindi naman ikaw yung damit. Aalis ka talaga. Ukay-ukay na yung sinina ba? Okay? Aalis ka. Pero, lahat ng akala mo sa'yo, nakatago sa bangko, lahat ng pinakamaraming bahay, from holo to apari, meron yung Camellia Homes. Mas iasa ka, di ba? Balayan siya nga na, ah. Pinakadagang balay. Pero karon asa siya. Nakahiga sa isang kama, nandun sa ospital, okay? Anytime. Time to go. At pag-aalis ka na, will you be fortunate enough to have a son like Japa does? Who is a devotee of Krishna? who surrender to Krishna to tell you, I'll teach you how to go to Krishna. So, yun ang role nyo. Yun ang pinaka-greatest service nyo sa minamahal nyo to teach them how to go to Krishna. So, meaning, you yourself must become a Goswami. Someone who is pleasing to God. Who is a servant of God. Okay? Is it clear sa inyo? Look closely. What do you have? Wala naman kayo eh. Okay? But, there is something that is inseparable from you. Pag-ibig. And that love, that service can be in harmony with the pleasure of God. Not of this world. Kaya while you're in this world, if you have this wisdom, understanding, and association with the spiritual master, instructing spiritual master, who are close associates of Lord Chaitanya, then, nandito ka, you're not of this world. Hindi mo na kailangan ng test. Pasado ka na. Okay? You succeeded. Okay? And you can help others to succeed. Because the holy name is so powerful. Somebody is living, yung life niya na condition, so it's opportunity. Halimbawa, yung nanay, tatay mo, masisino, aso, hayop, puno, puputulin, anything, anything. Then you can chant. And they hear the holy name. They go to Krishna. A certain activity leads to a certain consciousness. And a certain consciousness leads to a certain activity. Okay? The conditioning you had, you had before, alam mo, uy, hindi ito masaya. Now you're being taught this wisdom. It's not a conditioning. It's the uncovering. Uncovering of your true eternal nature. That your life, you're happy, you're joyful. Kaya lang, tama na sa kakapiga. Gusto mo uminom ng gatas? ng kambing, baka ginagata sa mo lalaking kambing. Okay? Yung, yung tutoy niya rito, wala palang gatas. Okay? Be intelligent. You look, the reality of this world, this is the planet of death. No, nobody succeeded in their struggle for survival. Makita man nyo, look, where is Mr. Villar? Where is Lucio Tan? Where is Erap? Nasa hospital. So, ibig sabihin, kung yung mga tao na to, who amaze so, well, so much wealth, who have power and everything, pare-pareho lang pala yung situation nyo. You come with nothing, you live with nothing. But, 
If I live with nothing, where will I go? Di ba? Because I want shelter, I want protection. That is the reason our natural position is we're eternally the loving servant of God. And in that state only, transcendental absolute truth that we can be protected because we'll take shelter of God. And how to take shelter of God? It's a relationship. It's a devotional relationship. Unalloyed pure devotional service. And what is that all about? It be you become liberated. Liberated from what? Material desire. And the reason you become liberated, you become purified by the process. Krishna himself, he knows your heart, your desire. So your desire now is not the desire to fulfill the desire in the mind, to taste the fruits, but rather your desire, your prayer, every is about to succeed in doing the will of God. It's a very personal relationship with God. Nobody can take that away from you. And nobody will do that for you. Intindihan niya? Is it clear sa inyo? Okay? So, the reason I try to pass this to you, alam ko, it's very hard to convince a person against his own will. But you must face the reality. You must face reality. Birth, death, disease, and old age. You look around, okay? Yun yung reality ng material world. No matter how you negate, hindi yung ayaw ko, hindi ako maniwala, hindi ako maniwala, you'll still face death. You'll still, your body will get old. You'll have diseases. You have to struggle for survival in this body. You have to take care of your body. And the question is, are you happy? Are you fulfilled? And there is the answer. When we are guided by Krishna, by Lord Chaitanya, by His associate, Ibig sabihin, close associates of Krishna. And who are those? They are eternal servants of Krishna. The resident of the spiritual world. They come to teach us. So yun yung great fortune. Meron tayo. Okay? Kaya yung person lumapit kay sa, I think, Sanatan or Rupa Goswami. Yung future niya, kasi he wanted to be rich. Nakita siya ni, ng devotee, sabi niya, pagtanaw sa future, kasi yung mga devotees, they see past, present, and future. Eh. They see your horoscope ko ano so they what money good karma oi pobre kayo ultimo na ultimo sa ultimo sa ultimo na gud kaya nangita siya sapi nangita siya well wala mang gud so instruct siya go to this path the path of realizing and understanding the science of pure devotional service but if you follow yung path ng impersonalist to try to be god to deny God, or you follow the path where you become a raksasa under the modes of passion, enjoy, enjoyer of this world, then you'll be lost. Okay? Touch move ba yan? Hawa ka mo yung apoy, masunog ka. Ignorance is not an excuse. Hindi mo pwede sabihin, di man ko kayo balo, init man pala na o, tubig, abe na ako, okay? Abi na ako, bugnaw, giinom na ako, sunog akong bawa. No? Hindi pwede. Hindi pwede. Ay, bata pa man ko. Ba't wala ba namamatay na bata? Wala ba nakakasakit na bata? Ang katawan. May mga bata rito, may cancer eh. Nandun ngayon sa ospital. Hinihintay na lang nila kung mag-survive sila. Okay. Akala nyo, oh, I'm so strong. May bata rito, Christmas. Tawag namin si Scarface. Naglalakad siya, laro-laro, laruy-laruy, nagbangga siya ng pick-up, dugmok ang mukha niya. Okay? Mabuti mayaman yung nakabangga sa kanya. Dinala siya sa Dabao. Hiniwa siya yung mukha niya. Hiniwa rito. Tinanggal yung balat. Dinugtong-dugtong yung buto. Kaya binalik. Kaya dito, may pahak siya rito. Hindi ka gaya nung gusto niyong, di ba, mahilig kayo magpagupit na may pahak dito. Siya natural yung pahak niya rito. Pag anon, lupig mo. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. <ball>, namaste. <laughs>
Hari bol, hari 